Hi, it's Wendy. I said yes to the opportunity of a lifetime to go to Liberia with 23 other transformational coaches and leaders. When the possibility first came uh, knocking at my door, all of my no's uh, came rushing forward. The timing isn't right. It's gonna cost too much money. I don't have enough experience. I'm not gonna get chosen anyways. And what could I possibly bring and have to offer to the people and the educators of Liberia? And there was this, despite all those no's, there was this like stirring inside of me. Uh, this place was like awakening that I hadn't even, I didn't even know was there. And I started looking for my yeses, looking for my whys. Uh, what I found really surprised me. Why would I travel 6,915 miles to the second poorest country in the world and the most corrupt? To a place where 45% of the population is under 14. To a place where 85% of the people are unemployed. It's a place that's devastated by one of the worst, most violent, bloody civil wars of our time. Why would I do that? Um, I don't have this burning desire inside of me to save the world. I don't. What I do have is this burning desire to change the world. It's why I became a coach in the first place. I want to change the world in a way that's uplifting and empowering. And that is exactly the kind of change that's happening in Liberia right now. And I get to be a part of that change. If even just a teeny tiny little part, uh, the thought, the opportunity is something that I can't say no to. Something I'm not saying no to, I'm saying yes. I want to be a part of that. On this trip, me and our, my group of 23, we're going to fund and sponsor a two-day empowerment event, a two-day empowerment event for over 400 Liberian teachers and educators. We're going to bus them in and feed them and uh, create a space for them to find their own power and reclaim uh, their power and be the change be the inspiration uh, for, for hundreds, thousands of children in their country. We're going to bring a lifelong water filtration system to villages that don't have safe drinking water. We're gonna spend a day at a school just for girls who've been pulled out of prostitution. And we're gonna spend the day mentoring those girls. That's the day that I I can't even imagine what that day is going to be like. We are also, as part, I'm going to be part of the legacy of a group of people who are funding the completion of the Becky School. And that's a school that will educate over 400, 600 children. Uh, and we, are, we will be funding the completion of that school. <sighs> the teachers in Liberia are already living my dream. They are changing the world. They're educating their nation's future leaders. They've survived one of the most horrific, violent civil wars of our time. And it's my sense that they're not victims. They're leaders. Change is happening in Liberia and more change is inevitable. One way or another, I'm doing this. It's my goal to raise $15,000, at least $15,000. 25% of that will go directly into the fund to complete the Becky School. And 75, the other 75% will go towards making all of these events happen. And I'd love to raise enough money to put together care packages for every single one of those women uh, that have been pulled out of prostitution. I am imagining that 
one or many of them when given the opportunity, they will be catalysts for unimaginable change. And I'm just so inspired about what I'm going to learn from them. I'm planning on doing this 10 and $20 at a time. My, this message, this video is going to reach hundreds of people and I can get there 10 and $20 at a time. It doesn't take a lot of thought. It's either right for you or it isn't. I would love your help. As a tribute and a reminder of everyone that helped me get to Liberia, every time I get reach a hundred dollars, I'm going to tie a string around my wrist and I'm not going to take it off until well after my trip is complete. And every time I reach a thousand, I'm going to tie one of these neon pink ones on my wrist. To get the ball rolling, I've already put the first thousand into this fund. And I'm looking forward to having my whole wrist covered with strings as a reminder of everyone that helped me get there. There's a link. Please click it. And I appreciate your support.